Hey YouTube, this is Cublove92 here. I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool montage intro for Halo or Call of Duty montage. Um, let me show you what it's going to look like here. So there's that for you. Um, now it's, I'm going to be making this in Sony Vegas today. So, first you got to insert three video tracks. Alright, you got to right click insert video track. Alright, you guys probably know that. Alright, now you uh, insert text media. Call it whatever you want. My little uh, name for my quote unquote company is Promotion Films. Now you can get whatever font you want. I like this. Uh, this font that starts with M, Ma Matura MT Script Capitals. I like that font. So you pick that, and then you uh, select the size that you want. Um, now you can uh, do whatever else you want with the font. Uh, it's up to you. So placement or whatever. But I'm, I'm just gonna leave it how it is for now. And uh, compositing mode. This is will be uh, used later and this one you can do in uh, uh, movie studio Vegas so you put that on multiply mask but we'll save that for later so we can see our text um, now in the second video track you take a uh, loop or a um, just a, a other video track video and you paste that in I'm gonna use this one for the tutorial so you paste that in there I'm gonna delete the audio Alright, so now when I watch when I make this multiply mask, all the orange except for the stuff inside the text disappears. So it's all black around in here. So now you see we basically got half of it done. You can see where I'm going with this. So for this, I take it, I start at the very beginning, and I zoom all the way in. So you can see all the video. Now I move over three frames. Three or four, I found three looks pretty good. And then I hit restore, and then it'll zoom out to normal. Then I go all the way to the end of the, the text track, and I zoom out just to the first row of dots right here. And then I make it made a keyframe down here. So as you can see, we got it zooms in and slowly zooms out. And then we can make that faster and whatnot. And then Obviously, you add another track, and then uh, Promotion Films Presents. And then you uh, take your font. Normally, it's good to leave the same font in the most of your intros, so we'll tip that there. So, um, alright, and then you can. Uh, like that, and then you keyframe it the same way. So, go to the beginning, zoom all the way in. I go three frames over one, two, three, and then I will restore it to the very end, and I'll zoom out to the first row of dots. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about with the dots and everything, but they're the dots along. There's dots all out, all out from the F. So. Let's see how that looks like real quick. I'm gonna zoom in, zoom out. I'm just gonna do it again. So there's that. Now for this next part, I used video effects, and then I went down to the new effect that comes in Sony Vegas Pro 9. So sorry if you have Sony Vegas Pro 8. I don't believe you have this effect. But and then I went into uh, I already have a preset saved. I call it Montage Starburst. So. Uh, this is what it'll look like. Kind of puts a little uh, glint in the back. You can kind of see that. And then if you want to animate it, you can. I didn't. I didn't think it looks as good when you animate it, so I didn't. Uh, so you can apply that to both those tracks. And then obviously you can add your next. Um, pretty simple stuff, so you should be able to do this pretty easily. Um, 
And then I'm going to keyframe that. And if you want to know where I got this loop, I'm going to put in a little uh, advertisement for movietools.info. I'll put that link in the description for you guys to find that. And uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and keyframe this one out. So I'm going to go. Yeah. All right, I'll go ahead and fast forward all this. Alright, so now that we've done that, I guess you don't need as many video tracks as I said. So you delete those other two. So you only need two tracks. Now you can go in and add some music. It's best to uh, add some hard hitting music that uh, has beats on when the when the title just flies in. And if I can find the music I used, I uh, used Im immediate music. And I think it's in here. Yeah, it's called Avenger. I don't know. I can put that in the link too for you guys. But uh, then I cut out the first part. I cut out that first part here. My computer doesn't render because of the starburst effect, actually, so. I'll go ahead and remove that for rendering purposes, but you guys can keep it in. When it when it renders the video and saves the video, it'll look fine. It won't be glitchy or anything. So here's what it'll look like. Obviously, I'll have to sync the music a little better. <laughs> right about that. So let's go ahead and play this. So there's that. Uh, comment and rate and subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead and post those in the comments. Um, I'll be sure to put all the links to the movie loop, and I'll put the song in there as well. Thanks.